Good day to you and welcome to another Paddocks Club video tutorial. Today I want to give you 8 steps to avoid or stop unauthorized changes to common property. But before we deal with those 8 steps, let's just give some background. Owners can apply for trustee consent to add minor fixtures to or make other minor alterations to the common property. This is in terms of prescribed conduct rule 4.1. An owner or occupier, it says, must not mark, paint, drive, nails or screws into or otherwise damage or alter any common property without written consent of the trustees. The trustees are only entitled to give permission for very minor changes that they consider will not negatively affect the appearance of the buildings. When approached, the trustees should think about who will pay the cost of any repairs and maintenance required as a result of the requested alterations. Owners can also apply for trustee consent to improve their exclusive use areas. In terms of Prescribed Management Rule 68.1.6, an owner may construct or place any structural building improvement on an exclusive use area if this is not a breach of the scheme rules or of Section 24, which deals with extending sections or section 25 which deals with adding sections and if the trustees give prior written consent for that building and they may not unreasonably withhold it. When approached in this regard the trustee should think about where the building plans are required for the proposed improvement, whether the owner will submit these to the trustees for approval in advance and also ensure that they are officially approved before work commences. The other thing the trustees might want to think about is whether they will require that the owner or his or her successors in title will remove the building improvement and pay all associated expenses if the body corporate in due course finds that the improvement or its use is a nuisance to other owners or that it's not being properly maintained. But let's move then to the eight steps I spoke of. Very often changes are made without trustee consent. You need to regularly remind owners that they're not entitled to make changes to the common property without trustee consent. You also need to ensure that owners understand the difference between how they're entitled to use their exclusive use areas and how they're entitled to use unregulated areas of common property as far as making changes is concerned. Put out a form that owners can use to apply to the trustees for permission to make common property alterations, whether in their exclusive use areas or otherwise, and ensure that the application form draws their attention and the trustees' attention to the relevant rules and issues. Number four, ensure that a new owner is given a copy of the form as well as the rules as soon as possible after occupation. Five, regularly inspect the common property, particularly after any unit has been transferred or newly leased, and keep records of those inspections so that if something does pop up, you know that it's new because it was inspected a month ago and that wasn't there. Number six, whenever possible, keep any unauthorized alteration to an absolute minimum before it's stopped. You can move in and actually stop an alteration if it hasn't yet been completed, but once it is completed, you don't have that right. Number seven, send a proper breach notice if there, you find that somebody has made an unalter, uh, unauthorized alteration. And number eight, start arbitration or litigation without delay if you find that this becomes necessary. I hope that this has been of assistance. Let's chat about the issues in the discussion forum.